Okay, so um, here is the second part of the spinning video. Um, as promised, I have spun um, the spool there of pink, and I've done another one of more sort of purpley colour, and I've decided to join these two colours. Um, obviously, you can um, do all the same colour if you want to, but I quite like mixing uh, my colours. Um, I've tied the two strands onto the leader. The important thing when plying is that the um, thread around the spool actually goes the opposite way round to when you did the spinning because the idea is you're going to spin these two strands together in the opposite direction and so that will even out the twist so it'll be a much more balanced yarn so with luck it will work. You also turn the spinning wheel round in the opposite direction. Um, so it's all about balancing the yarn because that, this is actually quite twisted as you can see it's got a strong twist on it um, which makes it very difficult to use. It is possible to use it particularly in weaving and crochet but in, if you knit with what is called a single, a single strand, it will go at an angle but it depends what you want to do. But by plying it you get the two going in the opposite direction to the twist and in theory, and hopefully it will work, um, you will have a balanced yarn. So I'm now going to start the wheel in the opposite direction. And here we go, we're on a roll. So what's happening is these two yarns are twisting, they're now twisting anti-clockwise. When I spun them, I was spinning them in a clockwise direction. Um, this is when I actually do enjoy playing around with all the different colours because you can mix whatever you like. It's a bit like playing around with paints, I, th I always think. Um, and I just like to mix my yarns. And this should be quite a pretty one. I have got two more spools up here on my on the dresser here, just to show you. I spun these yesterday when I went off to my guild. These are both the same colour, and these are both the alpaca yarns. And I shall ply those later. And that will be a nice green, soft green, um, luxury thread, really, with the alpaca. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to um, show you this. So here is uh, the spool of the, um, the plied yarn. And I'm really pleased with the colours. It's, it's looking really nice. What I'm now going to do is to wind it on my winder. I um, have to be a bit careful because sometimes it plays up a bit. I usually put my spool into a basket but you can put it onto what they call a lazy cake which is a spool but any way to kind of contain this otherwise it jumps all around the, the floor. So I'll fix it on here onto the wool winder. I, off, I use a tapestry bobbin here just to hold it up it just adds a bit of tension and usually helps the winding process. So I'm now um, going to start winding. It's quite a quick process this. As long as it goes according to plan. That's satisfying this. Feeling, whoops, a bit irritated with anything. You can get rid of some aggression doing that but here we go. You can see can't you, how the tapestry bobbin here is, is holding the tension. Just helps it to work a bit. Here we go. So that didn't take too long at all. So here we have a nice finished ball of what I consider to be a really nice coloured wool. It's probably between a double knit and, and a sort of more chunky Aran weight. But I mean, I, I do double knit patterns uh, with this quite often, but on the whole, I use it for my weaving, but I'm pleased with the color. So I hope you've enjoyed the process of spinning some yarn. Um, and if you want to have lessons, do uh, contact your local guild or you can email me 
and I can let you know, I'm sure, someone that could help you get started. But it's a wonderful pastime and you do end up with some rather luscious colours. But uh, you'll see more about the colours when we have the dyeing video.